Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is speaking to us in the Gospel. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Let all on earth their voices raise, re-echoing heaven's triumphant praise, to him who gave the apostles grace to run on earth their glorious race. Thou at whose word they bore the light of gospel truth, O a heathen might, heathen night. To us that heavenly light impart, to glad our eyes and cheer our heart. Thou at whose will to them was given, to bind and loose in earth and heaven, our chains unbind, our sins undo, and in our hearts thy grace renew. Thou in whose might they spoke the word, which cured disease and health restored, to us its healing power prolong, support the weak, confirm the strong. The holy evangelists sought out the wisdom of the ancients, in their Gospels they confirmed the prophecies of old. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The holy evangelists sought out the wisdom of the ancients. In their Gospels they confirmed the prophecies of old. Alleluia. Through the Gospel, God called us to faith in the truth, so that we might share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you sun and moon, O bless the Lord. And you the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord. And you showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O bless the Lord. 
a new cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. A new showers and dew, O bless the Lord. A new frosts and cold, O bless the Lord. A new frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. <coughs> a new night time and day, O bless the Lord. A new darkness and light, O bless the Lord. A new lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. A new mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. A new all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord. A new fountains and springs, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. <coughs> And you rivers and seas, O bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praised forever. And you children of men, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praised forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praised forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. <coughs> Through the Gospel, God has called us to faith in the truth so that we might share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. <coughs> Many will praise their wisdom, and it will never be forgotten. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. <coughs> to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honour is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Many will praise their wisdom, and it will never be forgotten. Hallelujah. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, the gospel that you received and in which you are firmly established the gospel that brings you salvation. In the first place I taught you what I had been taught myself, namely that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and that he was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. They told of the glories of the Lord and of his mind. They told of the glories of the Lord and of his mind. They spoke of the marvellous deeds he had done. They told of the glories of the Lord and of his mind. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. They told of the glories of the Lord and of his mind. Let us give thanks to Jesus Christ, who has sent teachers and evangelists to be ministers of faith to all peoples who believe in him. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant as he promised by the lips of holy men 
Those are ways prophets from of old, a saviour who'd freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us a tree from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Let us give thanks to Jesus Christ, who has sent teachers and evangelists to be ministers of faith to all peoples who believe in him. Alleluia. Our Saviour destroyed death and through the gospel revealed eternal life to us. With joyful praises, let us make him known and let us say, Strengthen your church in faith and love. Lord Jesus, in times past you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Strengthen your church in faith and love. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Strengthen your church in faith and love. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your holy, fill with your holy spirit all the leaders of your people. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Strengthen your church in faith and love. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <coughs> And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, you chose out the evangelist Saint Mark and ennobled him with grace to preach the gospel. Let his teaching so improve our lives that we may walk faithfully in the footsteps of Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.